want to show you how to import a shape file um, into GeoSoft, so how to display it on a map or on a grid. So you can see I've got a grid here of the magnetic data of South Africa. And so what I would do is I would go map, go import, and go down here to arc view shape file. And then I've got to navigate to where I saved the file. So you can see I've got several um, shape uh, files here, and you can see that it's .shp. I'm actually going to go up here. Okay, we'll stick with the one that we had already. Um, and so here I'm going to choose this first one, and it's lin sa250. And just to give you an idea, it's all the linear structures mapped from the 250,000 uh, map, and it's in L027 as a coordinate system. So that's not important unless you're using that actual file. But I'm going to click open, and it says here import data to, and it says here database, new database. I'm going to say I don't want it to be imported into a database. It's your choice if you want to actually view the data. And then plot data on current map, or do you want to do it on a new map? I'm going to put it on this current map, so I'm going to click OK. This action is only allowed a map. Do you want to save this grid as a map to continue? Yes. And I can just choose the name, and that's fine. I'm going to click OK. And it's telling me here that the coordinate system that the shape file is in is different from the coordinate system of my grid. But that's fine, GeoSoft is great, it does a conversion for you. So I'm, it's telling me what it's converting to. So it's converting from Hadoop 94 into WGS84. And that's fine, that's correct. I'm going to click OK. And you can see it's loaded linear features, but obviously I cropped the features to a smaller area because it's only showing them in a small area. So let's zoom in. So you can see the shape files here, these black lines. If you want to play around with them, you click on Map Manager. This is the new 9.2 version of GeoSoft. If that's not, if you're not running that version, it should be on your LinkedIn site anyway. And you can see here, this AGG is my grid, and this SPF are the shape files or the linear features. Maybe I want to make them bigger. How I do that is click on the name in this left hand column and you can see when you do that it puts a block around it. Take your mouse, put it on top of this block, right click and go edit a vector group, right click again, go select all, you must be on top of the box, right click again on top of the box and go line attributes. And now I can choose the color that I want them to be, how thick I want them to be, the style, do I want them to be dashed or dotted, um, do I want to smooth the line, so let me, I'm going to make this thicker, click OK, and you can see they're much thicker now. So you can actually edit your um, shape file.